a bed, running tap water, and um, a chair. This video is the second part where we'll be looking at creative ways to find songwriting inspiration. If you haven't seen the first, click the link here or in the description. Hello and welcome to another video on your creative aura where we help each other embrace our creativity and create something we truly love. So grab a drink, get comfy, and let's get started with a further 21 ways to find songwriting inspiration. Seven ways to find songwriting inspiration in people. So listen to other artists. If you want to be a songwriter, listening to other artists is a must you'll be able to see a lot of consistencies, especially when it comes to structure for pop music, and you can find out what topics they're most likely talking about. Relationships. Also, you can check out what inspires them. Join a forum with like-minded people. Now you're never alone with how you feel. Check out Facebook groups, Quora, Reddit, or other forums for other people just like you. Have a chat, bond, socialise and share your thoughts. Inspire each other. Cultural issues. Think about your local community. What are their beliefs? How do they behave? What do they value? Draw upon this as inspiration and answer these questions. Search tweets or hashtags. Now sometimes a person's tweet or comment can spark an idea. Now I've had a moment where I've seen a beautiful phrase in a comment and it's inspired me to develop it further. Have a conversation. Now be a passenger on someone else's journey. Draw on their thoughts and opinions. Don't turn down help. Just because your sibling is a plumber or your partner is a nurse doesn't mean they can't help you find inspiration they have, might have an idea you could use. Don't stress over what others are doing. Your friend is a famous singer and always writes about breakups. They have a big hit. But it doesn't mean you have to write about breakups too. Seven ways to find songwriting inspiration in yourself. So write down all the good and bad ideas. Remember, you can never have a bad idea. Every idea has to start somewhere. And you may hate it initially, but a week later you might find that missing element that makes it a masterpiece. So think twice before you throw a bad idea away. Look at your own life. Look at yourself for inspiration. Uh, there might be an event you can draw from or feeling um, that you had that you can talk about. You are your own movie. And if you feel comfortable with that, bring it to life for others to witness. Meditate. A busy, overactive mind can be difficult to control. So control your breathing and meditate. This will refresh your mind and refresh your body. Visualization. If we are stuck in the same place, or town day in day out, it can be difficult to get a new perspective on life. Therefore visualise being somewhere that you've never been before. It can be real or imaginary. I think about what you'd see and how you'd feel. Draw on that for inspiration. So look through old photographs. Reminiscing can help bring up memories and feelings that you might have forgotten. These could inspire your next song. So what do you take for granted? It's items like a bed, running tap water, and um, a chair that we all take for granted and we never really appreciate because we're so used to always being there. So look at these items and draw on their importance in your life and how you've forgotten about them and how we need to be reminded. Don't be a perfectionist. Stop waiting for the perfect idea to come along. It's like waiting for Mr or Mrs Right. It isn't going to happen if you sit down there and do absolutely nothing. 
this is where you start becoming an obstacle to yourself. Just allow your creativity to flow naturally, even if it's in a direction you don't like, because you can always make edits afterwards. Seven ways to find songwriting inspiration in activities. My favourite, take a nap. Sometimes all we need is a quick power nap to boost our energy levels. However, make sure you set an alarm, otherwise you could wake up knowing or not knowing what day it is. Word association. Now you want to write a song about loneliness, but you don't know where to start. Map out all the words that can relate to loneliness, such as similar emotions, activities, behaviour, from there you can begin to paint a picture. Do an unrelated activity. If you keep on pressuring yourself to come up with an idea, you'll only delay the idea from happening. So try to do something completely unrelated, like do the laundry, do some washing up, just to clear your mind. Exercise. Get your blood pumping and go for a jog or lift some weights or run up and down the stairs, but try not to be too noisy. Not only is it good for clearing your mind, it also helps you reduce your stress levels. So start a journal. Now, did you ever write a, a diary as a child? Write down your thoughts and feelings before you go to bed for a month. Review this at the end and see if it sparks an idea. Write a bucket list. Now it's a strange idea, I agree. However, it can spark an idea. I mean, I love to go skydiving, but heights are not really my friend. And that spurred on the idea of writing a song about conflicting desires. Develop a simple process for your songwriting. Now I love processes. It always keeps me organized and it really makes me more productive. Even though sometimes I do get overly fussy about preparation, that it can take me a little longer to get the job done. But I know I've got the job done really well in an organized and less stressful fashion. So for example, I've just thought of an amazing melodic hook. So I quickly use the voice recorder on my phone and I record it. What I won't do is run upstairs or run to my office, because that's quicker, turn on my PC, hunt for some cables, hook up my microphone, load my door, and record it. Because by then, I've most likely forgotten it, because sometimes a melody sticks in my head, I sing it two or three times, and it's gone. It is gone. So just having my phone to go is so helpful. I sound better than that though. Apologies, my battery just died. So I've got to do this bit again. We now have been through 42 ways to find songwriting inspiration. So what's your favourite way to spark inspiration for songwriting? Now my favourite is usually having a snack or going for a quick nap. They've always been my favourites because sometimes I can get kind of lazy. So having a quick nap where I can just cuddle up on the sofa with my blanket is, um, I like that. <laughs> so what's your favourite? The next time that light's just gone, but it's fine. So the next time the evil brick wall appears, you'll be better prepared to smash it to pieces. So thank you so much for watching, despite my battery and my light going, but it's fine. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, ding, so you know the next time we can get creative together. Bye.